Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences with you guys on what it's like to live on the autism spectrum. A second thing that I like to do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third thing that I do is I also like to um, give tips and advice to individuals on the spectrum and to their friends and their families and their peers and their mentors and to anybody in the community in general as an autism resource. And a third thing that I like to do is, or I mean third but fourth, cover topics that I'm passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And before I start my normal uh, routine and video blog, what I'm going to do is mention to you guys that I am starting to cross promote my work. And I wanted to mention that if you guys would like some other additional autism resources, there is um, another channel that you can go to right here on YouTube. It's called Autism. Um, if you click up above, it's just hashtag autism. And they have a video called The Day in the Life of a Child with Autism at um, an LGA school. And it's about a bunch of individuals on the spectrum. And if you also click this link right here, there's uh, TED. And I don't know if you guys have heard of TED. Those are 12-minute um, education talks. They have a lot of 12-minute talks on autism, and they have some self-advocates like Dr. Temple Grandin, and they had a few other people um, on there about autism that I saw speaking, and they also have various scientists. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, give tips to you on the autism spectrum and to you parents and family members out there, and also make you school teachers aware of this because I think it needs to be said. So there are a lot of times where you have uh, someone on the spectrum that uh, enters the public or private school system and just like any other neurotypical child they would like to make a friend but they don't know how. Now uh, they can also try to make friends with others in the special education room but let's say that the other kids uh, don't have autism or they have some other type of uh, situation like uh, dyslexia or they're legally blind or they're deaf or they've got cerebral palsy or spina bifida and let's say that uh, the child with autism or the adolescent has some behaviors that are inappropriate. Like in my case, when I was in school, I wanted to dress like the Spice Girls because it was peer pressure. I saw other teen girls um, wearing skimpy outfits, so I wanted to dress that way, and I called myself sexy. And, of course, some of the other kids in the class uh, decided that they were going to go home and tell their parents. Well, their parents were a little leery about me anyway because they didn't really know... Uh, what was wrong. They just thought I was weird and they thought that I was a bad influence on top of that and so I got shunned. And not only that, the other kids in the class bullied me. So it's really common for an individual on the autism spectrum to get bullied and shunned by other peers and their parents because they haven't been taught what autism is or what it can do and they haven't really been trained how to handle different behaviors. In fact, they themselves have problems of their own and they're probably growing. Now, for those of you that have uh, been dealing with uh, this, this form of oppression and discrimination and misunderstanding, there are a few things that you could do. The first thing I recommend is that you could probably um, use a presentation software like PowerPoint and you could create a little story or talk about uh, how uh, little Susie behaves in the classroom and you could have it like uh, Susie is writing like hi my name is Susie I have autism and you could also have Susie talk about what her interests are why she's behaving the way she is why she's having her meltdowns like just because I do this doesn't mean that I mean and you could contact your special education teachers or your autism specialists and you could ask for the numbers of the other parents and 
and then possibly contact them and you could possibly also have the presentations put on uh, these little devices or you could ask for their Dropbox and you could uh, send them the slideshows and you could also invite the, the parents and the other child or adolescent in the special ed room or in the general ed room to come over to your house for dinner and the four of you, five of you, six of you could sit down together and try to help uh, the other family understand where you and your child are coming from and help them to know that your child is just like everybody else and they want friends and they want to fit in but they don't really know how. And you guys could probably brainstorm about being a mentor for uh, the child with autism and you guys could work on helping them to dress appropriately and talk appropriately and teach them manners and rules and it should just basically build a little community that could be beneficial. So again, uh, please be sure to uh, click on uh, the, ca the cards above, like Ted, and you can go to the Autism Channel. And there's another one I'm suggesting is Asper Kids. Now, she's another woman like me, and her name is Jennifer Cook O'Toole. And she has a lot of advice on how to handle situations that are similar because she herself has Asperger's. In the meantime, uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and be sure to um, comment below and share this with your autism groups and on Twitter and on social media and right here on YouTube. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I will talk with you later.